Hello and welcome to Government with Dr. Turner. Today we're going to discuss the relationship between the people and Congress. In a recent survey, people were asked about their likes and dislikes. Among many items, they were also asked to share their feelings about the Congress. Here are a few answers they gave. What do people hate more than cockroaches? Congress. What do they hate more than traffic jams and Brussels sprouts? Congress. Root canals? Nickelback? Yep, Congress again. These are the results of very real surveys, although they were conducted with a little bit of humor. But it's no secret that the public is unhappy with Congress. And it's not a new situation either. Congress has been on the public hit list for the last 50 years. Is Congress really that bad? First, we need to consider this. The founders created the congressional decision-making process to be slow and deliberative. They were mistrustful of a powerful government, so they created one that would be inefficient by design. They did not want a flood of legislation to flow from Congress. They wanted a trickle. In many ways, Congress is operating exactly the way it was meant to. Of course, the world and America's place in the world has changed a great deal in 230 years. We should have higher expectations for our national government. Other factors contribute to our negative view of Congress and politics. When candidates compete in elections, each one points out the faults of the other. Media coverage of our government is usually from a negative perspective. What did Congress fail to do? Financial reporting reveals the influence of money. We feel like our voices no longer have impact. When politicians speak, there is constant bickering and partisanship. We witness hyperpartisanship instead of shared ideas. We see obstruction instead of compromise. But we are not without fault ourselves. We ask for national legislation, then complain if no pork is sent our way. Congress finds it difficult to make policy that solves national problems because constituents reward them for taking care of their individual interests. Possible reforms like term limits or campaign finance reporting are deemed too boring for us to consider. But you, as students of government, are developing a better understanding of what's really going on. You can begin to see Congress as hundreds of power struggles all happening at the same time. You're beginning to adjust your expectations so that you're not shocked by the reality of lawmaking. And as we move forward, you'll begin to see where informed citizens like yourselves can have the most impact.